Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So about two weeks ago, I went to Hangzhou in China to visit the headquarters of Rocket, one of the pioneers in AR technology. They're one of the leading makers of AR eyewear. On that visit, I interviewed the company's founder and CEO and also attended the launch of the company's latest product, the Rocket AR Lite, which consists of the Rocket Max 2 AR glasses and Rocket Station 2, a console that powers the glasses. I was able to take a pre-production set of Rocket AR Lite for personal testing and I've been using it every day for the past two and a half weeks now. And man, I am impressed. This is the first true AR experience in an affordable package for casual consumer use. In fact, I think the Rocket AR Lite can approximate the basic core experience of the Apple Vision Pro. By that, I mean the ability to open multiple apps on separate floating screens in front of me, spatial computing. So for example, I can have like a video playing right here, my Instagram feed right here and my email inbox right here to my left and I can just move my head to look at different windows to take in the content that I need. Let's go over the hardware. The Rocket Max 2 is a set of standalone AR glasses with two Sony micro OLED screens, one behind each eye. The display uses a technology known as bird bath optics to project visuals that appear to be floating in front of you. The screen size that you get, it's about equivalent to a 300 inch screen looked at from about six meters away or about 19 feet for us Americans. Additionally, each eye offers a resolution of 1200p, so it's higher res than typical full HD, which is 1080p. The glasses weigh only 75 grams and it fits very comfortably over my face. Thanks to these arms with a flexible hinge that allows the temple area to be very flexible, like they're not gonna squeeze onto your head. You get 20 degrees of flexibility. There's also an upgraded nose pad with this hollow structure that gives it more of like a cushion feel. Kind of like the gel insoles in Nike sneakers. Usually when I wear AR glasses for too long, I will see like a mark on my nose because the nose pad is a little bit stiff and it's pressing against my face. Not this one right here. These are soft and cushy. For those with nearsightedness, the Max 2 has two physical dials right here at the top of the glasses to allow you to adjust for myopia, supporting adjustments from 0 degrees to 6 degrees. If your vision falls within that range, that means you do not need to wear corrective lenses to see the glasses clearly. Currently, Rocket's the only company in the world making AR glasses that offers this feature. In addition to that, the Rocket Max 2 also lets you adjust the IPD, which is interpopulary distant adjustment. In layman's terms, that means the the distance between the two screens because you know all of us have different faces like our eyes can be a little bit wider apart can be a little bit closer so glasses that don't let you adjust that can result in headaches because the screens are not lined up with our eyes to be able to adjust IPD you can actually set the distance of the screens to match your eyes and this is all done on the software end underneath the right arm it's a volume rocker to adjust the volume and a single button to adjust between various degrees of brightness the displays gets up to a maximum of 600 nits which is really bright I actually do not need to wear the glasses with maximum brightness ever the visuals are of course very immersive. When I plug in the glasses into my MacBook or my iPad or my Windows laptop, the screen I see basically covers my entire field of vision, which is about 50 degrees. You also get up to 120 hertz of refresh rate, so animations are buttery smooth as long as your source device supports 120 hertz. So I've mentioned this a few times before. I am a digital nomad who like to work off a laptop out of various cities. Like I have not had a solid base that I just stay in every day for over a year. I've been jumping from city to city, working off of mostly laptops. So that means I don't have the benefit of having a full desktop setup with a gigantic monitor. So mostly I work off an iPad or a MacBook and having a pair of AR glasses that I can just plug in to give me a bigger screen is so helpful. So the Rocket Max 2 are great uh, standalone AR glasses that you just plug into anything. You can plug into a phone and just scroll through your apps on a larger screen size. But the best way to use the Rocket Max 2 is with the Rocket Station 2. Hence why together the whole set is called Rocket AR Lite. The Rocket Station 2 is basically a fully functional computer without a display because the display is in the glasses. It's powered by the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1. There's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, eight gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of internal storage. So it has all the bits 
of computing power that you would need. And it runs a proprietary operating system developed in-house by Rocket named Yoda OS Master. Worth mentioning is that under the system, you can access all internet content through Rocket's proprietary browser. So you can access web apps too, basically. Even though this is the first time many of us English speaking consumers are experiencing Yoda OS Master, Inside China, the software is already quite common. In China, the software is already used by developers in a professional settings. I covered this in my other Rocket video, but basically in China, in a lot of the museums and schools and some offices, they are already using Rocket AR glasses plugged into another Rocket Station machine running Yoda OS Master. The coolest part to me is you can open three apps at once in side-by-side -side format. So that means when I'm working in a coffee shop, I usually will have a web browser open with my work CMS. So I'm writing article, but then if I need to reference an email or a spec sheet, I can have it open on the side and I can just look to the left or right to check the stats. Now, if I only open one app, I can open it even bigger in giant screen mode. I can open it so big that it completely, it's bigger than my field of vision. So that means when I'm looking at an image, for example, I can like just have that image completely cover my field of vision and I have to move my head around to see that image. It's kind of like sitting front row at an IMAX screen. And if you're wearing the glasses while you're moving or if you're on a plane, you can activate sports mode, which will stabilize the footage you're watching instead of, you know, having a shake with your head movements. You can navigate through Yoda OS Master with the Station 2's trackpad, which supports multi-touch, including gestures like pinch. You can also use the Station 2 as a virtual laser pointer. Like you just point the Station 2 at the virtual screen to select that item. As I mentioned in my first video when I visited Rocket's headquarters, Rocket is a leader in AR headwear in China. Their products are used in a professional setting across various industries. So that means Rocket has enough brand power to convince developers to build first party apps for Yoda OS Master. And indeed, there are a selection of AR games already available in the Rocket AR Lite that's pretty fun to play with. For example, I like this platformer where I have to use the Rocket Station trackpad to control a character jumping from platform to platform. There are also these puzzle games that feel like the board is placed on top of a table in front of me. The 5,000 mAh battery is good to last for about four to five hours. Overall, the experience of using the Rocket AR Lite kind of feels like using the Apple Vision Pro. Now, don't get me wrong, the Vision Pro's visuals are still a little bit more impressive. You can open windows even larger and they're just a little bit higher res still. But at the same time, this guy is 3,500 US dollars and it is very, very heavy. Like I said in my review of the Vision Pro, I cannot wear this more than 10, 15 minutes at a time when I'm sitting upright like this. The Rocket Max 2 is a hell of a lot more comfortable to wear. Like it's not even close. I can wear this for several hours at a time. I can only wear this for 15 minutes at a time. So the Rocket AR Lite, which includes the glasses and the Station 2, they're launching on Kickstarter on May 27 with an early bird pricing of 479 US dollars for the whole set. Now this is early bird pricing for the first 1000 people who pre-order. After that, the price will go up a little bit. And then when the Kickstarter campaign ends, the final retail price will be around $600. Check my link in the description below if you're interested. I can honestly say that, you know, even before this video, I've already been a fan of AR glasses because I work outside at coffee shops so much. So I really like just wearing this, plug it into my laptop and iPad and just work anywhere. It's an awesome experience and I am glad to see the technology continue to improve. So anyway, that's about it for this video on the Rocket AR Lite. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. Thanks for watching.